If you're thinking about moving and you wanna learn about what everyday life is gonna be like in your new town, this is the place for you. On Open House, we sit down with local top producing real estate agents to help you find the best places to live in DC, Maryland, and Virginia. So if you don't want buyer's remorse and you wanna find your dream town, we are here for you. So go ahead and book a free call with us and we'll help guide you to the area that is right for you. Now let's jump in and learn about your new home. Hey everyone, welcome to Lynchburg, Virginia with Open House Real Estate Media. I'm Zach and today we're going to be talking with Alexis Brown, a local resident and expert in this area, everything from homes to entertainment. So Alexis, thank you for coming on the show today to kick things off. I just want to ask you how long you've been an agent and what you love about living in Lynchburg. Hey Zach, thanks for having me. I have been an agent since 2014. And Lynchburg, I actually love that as well, diverse. You have people from all walks of life. We have a lot of colleges, so it brings a lot of diversity to the area. Then we have rural areas, then we have cities. So it's a little bit of everything here. Wow, that's pretty cool. So um, tell me more about it, about the culture and what the overall feel is. You said there's city and suburban, so what's that like? Mm-hmm. So it kind of sort of reminds you of the D.C. area where you have the really big city and then you have the small communities and and towns around it. And then you pretty much go into the city when you want to do stuff, nightlife, fun, work. And then you'll come back home where it's nice and quiet, just like myself. I'm actually right outside of Lynchburg and Amherst, but it's just like crossing the bridge to go right into Lynchburg. You have college students, you have your regular residents. Uh, our downtown is really up and coming now. It used to be before, um, then we had some flooding going on now, they're bringing it back up. So a lot of people is actually coming this way and it's actually known to be one of the best retirement areas to retire in actually in the United States. Well, and maybe we'll be able to kind of discover why that is. Um, I'm curious about how much it costs to live there. So what's the median home price? Average, maybe two, three hundred thousand. Um, on the lower side, it might get to about uh, around 150 and then above the three and 4,000, well, when you get to about four to $5,000, you get into really nice homes. So about two or three is the median. Okay. And that's, can you get like a single family home for two or three? Yes. Okay. And it really just depends on where, what part of Lynchburg, uh, some of the outskirts are more expensive than the Lynchburg area just because of the privacy uh but in some areas in Lynchburg when you get to like Boonesboro or so that's more up and coming and it's still it's still privacy but it's like right outside of the city gotcha okay well that's good to know that's um one of the most affordable areas that that we've covered so far which is great and i know you are a little ways from dc so i'm curious um i know that dc brings in a lot of government jobs which makes sense aside from that what do people do for work in lynchburg and if they don't work in lynchburg where do they go we do have people that commute from here all the way to dc for work um charlottesville is our next big city uh, so that's probably about 50 minutes away from myself, maybe about an hour and 10 minutes from Lynchburg. So when you get to those home prices, it's much more. So of course, you know, the, the amount you make is much more in Charlottesville. That average might be about $500,000 for a home in Charlottesville. Hmm. And then we have Roanoke. Uh, so about 45 minutes, 45 minutes to an hour each way. If you don't work in Lynchburg, you're probably going either direction. Okay. And how far away are you from DC? About three hours. Okay. So do people commute there every day or would they do like a, they go up there for the beginning of the week and then stay there the whole week and work and then come back? No, it just depends. Some people do the car sharing and commute every single day. You gotta be (laughs) mad. 
<laughs> not worth it. That's crazy. <laughs> so, um, that really m makes me wonder then like what it is about Lynchburg that it makes it worth it to live there three hours away from DC and, and commute back and forth. Um, what is the, what's the community like? And do you guys have any special events for holidays or anything else? Right outside of Lynchburg, it's actually one of the, so Napa Valley, you have like your vineyards here outside of Lynchburg and Nelson County, Albemarle, up to Charlottesville, you have a lot of vineyards. So mm -hmm. a lot of people come here, tourists for the area for the vineyards. So that means you have festivals, different different activities, um, a lot of farming here in this area. Farmers market. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of that, but we also have a lot of rural areas for farming also. So cattle and and that's trade. And then we have Liberty University, of course. It brings a lot of tourists here and it brings a lot of Congress or people from the government because of the politics. So it really just, I mean, all around, I feel like Lynchburg, you can pretty much do anything you want to do in this area. Yeah. Well, and it seems a little bit, um, a little bit isolated because you had mentioned that there's like city, suburban and urban all within yeah. Lynchburg, which is really cool. Um, with it being that spread out, I am curious about the schools and like how many, how many people live in Lynchburg and how many like high schools do you have? So Lynchburg has a population around about 80,000 in, in Lynchburg itself, not including the surrounding counties. Uh, high schools, we have about five high schools, but that's not including the public, uh, the private schools. So we do have mm -hmm. private schools scattered around also. And then every rural area has high schools around it also. So you're mm -hmm. probably thinking outside of Lynchburg, maybe about five or six more high schools outside of it if not more okay that's not bad mm -hmm. so i'm curious about this downtown area that you said there was uh, it was great before there was some flooding and now it's up and coming again um what are some of your favorite things to do downtown walking the trails are really nice uh the riverfront is really nice we have a lot of festivals down there now a lot of restaurants up and coming rooftop if you like any rooftop places we have the railroads down there so it's it's more like urbanized now in lynchburg even though lynchburg i wouldn't consider it to be urban i feel like our downtown area is starting to get urbanized now hmm. so no skyscrapers or anything like that but the mm -hmm. you know, the building's kind of coming up and because yeah. you mentioned rooftop restaurants and stuff like that we have some tall buildings but nothing extremely tall okay this sounds this sounds pretty similar to where I live um, in in Springfield, Missouri. So that's kind of cool. I'm assuming there's a lot of like wineries and distilleries around just because of the vineyards. Yes, that is so. Now Lynchburg doesn't have as much. Our rural areas have the most vineyards and distilleries. Lynchburg, we have maybe two or three breweries here now, but no distilleries actually in the city. Everything else is in the rural areas. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's that's good to know. You touched on walking trails a little bit. Um, I'm curious about the nature in the Lynchburg area in general. Um, do you guys have any state or national parks nearby, um, e even city parks that are good for families or dogs? Can you tell me a bit about that? We have a few, not as much. I know a lot of people go to Smith Mountain Lake. That's the national park up that way. Um, we do have some zoos close, natural breeds zoo. So we had touched on high schools and stuff. Um, and I'm just curious, like, what are some things that families with kids do in Lynchburg? Because um, obviously they're not going to go out to, to the bar. <laughs> yep. what, what are some good family activities? The movies. Um, a lot of people like the mall areas. Now, our mall is definitely very comfortable for families here. They've changed that. The downtown area is very acceptable for families. So even though they have a lot of festivals, it's more like home body. So you can bring your kids, you can entertain. They have movie nights down there for kids. Mm -hmm. um, our downtown area for sure is set up for the children. And then I feel like a lot of people here, because when you live here, you have land, 
they do a lot at their homes. So it might be backyard barbecuing, inviting friends over. Um, Liberty University, it has play zones for kids. So anybody's welcome to go to the Thomas Road Church. Uh, and then also, it's a lot like fishing. It's more wildlife here. So it's kind of more outdoor like here. Okay. okay. And are streams or lakes or where, where does that, uh, where do those water activities happen? Down by the river. Uh, outside of Lynchburg, we have individual lakes. So Amherst County, like I was saying, Smith Mountain Lake. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have some, maybe about an hour out. By the time you get to like Charlottesville, you're getting more into like Lake Anna. So a lot of people surround that. A lot of lakefront homes. So it's really like you you have your own fun on your own, unless we're having activities in the area. That's a a pretty good overview in in my mind of Lynchburg. I have a, a good idea now. Um, so, Alexis, thanks for taking the time to share your knowledge about Lynchburg. And um, you know, our open house viewers definitely appreciate it. I think we all learned something new today. Awesome! And thanks for having me, Zach. Of course. And for our viewers, if you guys are looking to move to the DC area, Open House can match you with a local expert like Alexis from among our partner agents. It's a pretty big region with a lot of diverse neighborhoods. So you'll want one of DC's best on your side. Um, check the description below for our contact info. And we would love to connect you with the local expert in the neighborhood of your choice. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.